Four months have passed since the Warriors season came to an end. Hawaii crushed undefeated BYU 72-45 to finish the year with an impressive 9-3 record. Yet, no bowl game invitation made it to the islands. Despite the snub for Coach Jones, his staff, and his Warriors, the work continues. Here we go. Warrior football practices are secluded. The nearest Division I football program is half an ocean away. But come on, it's a spring ball. Yo, man. What's up, man? What's up, man? Looking like freaking NFL guy, huh? You're playing, you're playing that bump and run like, like the real deal now. College football Saturdays are still five months away. It isn't quite time to start strategizing. Rather, it is time to teach. What's learned here in April could spell the difference between a 9-3 record, like the one Hawaii enjoyed last year, and a 3-9 season suffered by the Warriors back in the year 2000. Spring practice is uh, really kind of a time that we do a little bit different. I think a lot of teams uh, probably hear them are more physical than we are, but I've kind of used it uh, the years I've been here, just try to learn and teach and have fun. It's kind of funny how for such a public figure, Coach Jones is actually reserved unless you're one of his coaches, or worse, one of his players. Tyrone, you're working on the new fro, I see. Oh yeah, of course, it's trying to, huh? trying to look at You need to get the cake cutter out and straighten that thing out, though. <laughs> hey, Coach Lumpkin, go look at some old pictures of him. He got the big fro. On this day, the media, the beat reporters and play-by-play -play announcers got a sneak peek at Hawaii's next generation of rising stars trying to make their way into the starting lineup and into the hearts of Warrior football fans. The way the coach figures, if you've got a Ferrari in the group, what the heck? You might as well pull it out of the garage and see what she can do. I'll tell you who, uh, and this still, number 20, John West. Yeah? Wait till you see him run. I'm going to tell him to put 20 in there for you so you can watch him. Hey, uh, Wes, put uh, John John in for this one. Okay. No. Wes. Yeah, yeah. Reload! Here it is right here. Hey. That guy can run. Yes, he can. <laughs> I like to say I found him. Really? No, I did not. I watched him. I was going to make him a receiver. Yeah. After one day, I said, go back to running back. Really? Then we gave him the ball. That was a good decision. I didn't wait for like a month. Critics describe Division I football as nothing but big business. College ball is driven by the almighty dollar, they'll say. But we rarely get a chance to see this side of college football. The stuff that happens after practice. You got to get your GPA up two semesters in a row. Yep. You'll get your cumulative up over 2 0. Didn't you almost go to Air Force? Yeah, Air Force Academy. Like, he really, really wanted me to come. But my mom didn't want me to sit around for a year. Your dad's military? Yeah. Why don't you uh, get into military science there or something? Oh, really? Yeah, get Trey. Get tra talk to Trey. All right. In fact, he'd probably put you on a scholarship. Within a matter of minutes, raw videotape of practice is edited down to a digestible form. This guy is too high. We could have thrown the outside guy. Shadowy figures inspect a full morning's worth of work. This is where June Jones continues to fortify the program's foundation as he gears up for his fourth season as head coach. I'm telling you now, Sean Butts can play some bump run, man. I'm going to tell you what, I'll put him out here in a minute. Played the guy bump and run, and he's like the Raiders would draft him. Repetition, 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 play after play. At one point, Coach Jones is inspired enough is. to diagram a play off uh, the top of his head, like he did during side. his childhood days, drawing up then plays in the sand. On. And we're always boot to the weak side. And then you have Cab back over here if it's 4-2. Center's here, you're hand whamming him. And really the back's one to two west cross the formation, but you may have the end if he walks up. So then it becomes one to two. 
Make no mistake, Coach June Jones calls the shots, but he also has taken pride in hiring a distinguished coaching staff that sees the world of football just like he does. Fortunately, I've had a continuity of coaching staff, so we kind of know, you know what the practice schedule is like. We know what we want to do, and uh, that makes it, uh, makes it a little bit easier. The evaluations are over. For the assistants, it's now time to meet with their position players. But for Coach Jones, it's time to tend to another unique aspect of the job. You ever get tired of signing balls? Uh, no, I signed a million, you know. That's probably about this many a day, really. It's kind of never ending. Never ending.